a time when the Chesapeake Bay is rebounding, fish are turning up dead in the Baltimore Harbor. WMAR 2 News Jeff Hager has more on what's behind this a massive fish kill. Jeff? Kelly, a fish kill initially numbered in the thousands has now reached tens of thousands, and scientists are still trying to figure out why. Out of sight, out of mind. Few of those enjoying the nice day here at Fort McHenry notice the dead fish washing up along the seawall. I am concerned about it. Um, of course, when I'm up on the sidewalk, I couldn't even see it. So, yeah, yeah, I am concerned about it. I live right here. Maryland's Department of the Environment now reports an estimated 30,000 herring, a species called the Atlantic Menhaden, have died and washed up along the Patapsco River and Back River, yet researchers have not yet pinpointed a cause. We're told they have collected tissue samples from distressed fish and are still awaiting results of those tests, while ruling out low oxygen levels in the water or algae buildup that normally would point to pollution as the culprit. At a time when the Chesapeake Bay has shown renewed signs of life, the fish kill has raised concerns here. As I've been working on building the oyster thing so that we can replace the oysters to clean up the this area, and so I know I've been really, uh, really, really excited about that. And so that's why I think, as I say, it's about a disease that really that that makes it that makes it. Uh, it seems that's very believable to me. The fact that the fish kill has been limited to a single species points to a possible disease. But drastic fluctuations in water temperature can also kill juvenile fish like the ones now washing ashore in the Baltimore Harbor. Fortunately, at this point, it appears the dead fish have not washed into the inner harbor, one of the jewels of Baltimore's tourism industry.